am Mark Fine with the RL Detman Company. We are the Michigan and Northern Ohio reps for the Bell & Gossett Company. And today I'm going to talk about expansion tank sizing in hydronic systems, part four, thermal expansion. So let's talk about thermal expansion. When sizing tanks, fill temperature, maximum system temperature, and liquid type will have to be known. This is what I'm going to talk about today. So let's talk about acceptance volume. This is so old even the spelling is wrong on this slide. As the water was heated, the volume expanded and rose in the open tank. The makeup was a toilet cock. The attic had icicles at times because the warm moist air off the tank In this calculation, you can see the numerator is the acceptance volume. We always assume the fill temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, since this is the coldest city water in our area. As the water heats to 160, or 180, or even 200, the volume of the water increases, which is EW. The tank volume was based on the expansion of the water from cold fill to hot minus the expansion of the pipe EP, and this is a very, very tiny number, times the volume of the system, which is VS. When we closed the hydronic system so we could put the tanks in the basement and use pumps, we added the pressure portion to the formula, which is in the denominator. So here's an example. If the volume of the water was 200 gallons in the system and the expansion of the water minus pipe at 180 degrees was 0 0.0279, the tank in the attic would need to handle 5.58 gallons. Here is the screen from the Bell & Gossett ESP system-wise selection program. As you can see on the left is the system fill temperature, in the middle is the maximum temperature, and on the right is the liquid we're using. Expansion of the water EW minus the expansion of the pipe EP is calculated based on the fill temperature and maximum temperatures and the liquid. Typical starting water temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Ending temperature for chiller water system equals maximum outside temperature we normally say 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the default minimum in most programs. There are two ending temperature choices for a heating system. Choice one, by the book, the design average temperature. Or you could go with choice two, if no reset, design maximum temperature. It is safer. As you can see from this slide, the expansion of water minus the expansion of pipe will change when glycol is added changing the property of the fluid. Hopefully you now understand why the fill temperature, maximum temperature, and liquid type are needed for sizing expansion tanks. Next we'll do the expansion tank sizing in hydronic systems part 5 compression tanks. Thank you.